They say Trump's is such an ineffective president, his list of failures already so much longer after one year than most administrations suffered during an entire term that he would never be in the news if it weren't for his constant gaffes. Rarely is a news story about some success of his, or some duty executed particularly well. The presidency is not what it used to be. With Trump, the executive narrative is one long string of mistakes, ignorant comments and boorish behavior. Add another to the pile. The Telegraph reports that last month Trump mistook female New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for Sophie Trudeau, the wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now she is concerned about her recounting of the story creating a diplomatic incident. Reportedly, Trump made the mistake and was confused for several minutes at an international summit. Ardern revealed the mishap at the time but now seems to regret sharing it with reporters. In an attempt to downplay the incident, Ardern is now saying that some of the details were distorted when it was retold. It was a bit of a funny yarn, something I don't want to cause a diplomatic incident over. I think I should never have recounted this story, Ardern, who was sworn in as Prime Minister last month said to Television New Zealand. Ardern can't be blamed for thinking something as innocuous, albeit ignorant, as Trump mistaking herself for someone else could easily spin out of control. Perhaps she is concerned that Trump might take aim at her on Twitter, refute her probably true account of events, and create a divide between the two allied countries. The president has taken aim at NFL players and gold star families in the past minor's lights. He insists on combating every unflattering story by accusing others of lying. He's easily angered and trigger happy. It also doesn't seem like simply an accident that Trump mistook the elected head of state for another woman, despite the fact that the two of them bear little resemblance. The president has demonstrated himself to be a deeply avowed misogynist. He doesn't take women seriously or treat them like anything more than objects. It makes sense that what little mental real estate he has left for remembering things wouldn't be devoted to remembering the names and faces of powerful women.